how we all doing. I thought I'd do a quick video on the little setup I've got going on because I've had some questions about it, even though it's definitely not the most advanced one out there. And I'm always trying to get the quality a bit better. But, you know, it's it's definitely been enough to sort of start us off and get us near monetization already, which is absolutely crazy. Thank you very much for like all the support with this channel because I posted the first video two months ago and only recently started like uploading basically as much as I can and we are a couple of days we're, we're basically monetized already I'm just waiting for YouTube to catch up because it's like five days behind so that's just nuts anyway this, this isn't about that monetization this is about my camera setup on just actually you no know, just the vlogging setup in general there's only a few things I need to talk about really but my, the, the biggest question I've had is how do we record our intercom uh, but also questions about the camera and stuff so we'll start with the camera I use the GoPro Max 360 which is as far as I'm aware, the only 360 camera GoPro do. Right now, I'm using it. So the GoPro Max 360 it has like two modes. So you can either use it in 360 degree camera mode, or you can use it in standard GoPro mode, which is what I'm doing now. I've got the super wide lens on, or lens, just the super wide mode on. I don't need to change anything with it. Um, and basically, this is the largest sort of range of mo range of um, view you can get without going to 360 mode. Um, and it's decent quality. I'll put some clips throughout this video of like the different videos I've filmed. So um, obviously right now I'm using it in GoPro mode, but I've also used it as a 360 camera and filmed videos like that. The only difference with that is I have to open the 360 video and it, get, it records in eight minute chunks. The, the chunks are seamless. You can't tell that it's been recorded in chunks. It just does that, I'm assuming, to keep file size down. Um, when I open up the 360 video, I have to export it twice because I want both the front view and the view facing me. Um, so that's the reason why I don't always record videos like that, although I do like the switching of views. Um, it's because it does take a little bit more time because I have to export all the videos as separate videos, if that makes sense, and then put them in my editing software to edit them like normal. Um, but a standard GoPro mode like this, they're super easy to edit because it's just... Again, it records in chunks, but the chunks are seamless. They're, with, they're within milliseconds of each other. And the, the settings are basically on auto at the moment. And again, as I said, they do the job. Katie will be getting a camera soon as well. So we can, oh my God, why is this road so bumpy? So we can switch between camera views when we're doing our dual vlogs and also so she can start recording her own vlogs as well. But really, any camera that's got decent reviews will do the job for your first one as long as you've got a decent view but I started filming these videos without realizing my camera had a super wide range and the video still did okay so again it's more about just the quality of the whole package so audio is next if you don't have decent audio you're not going to get very far now my audio is far from the best hello biker how are you what have you got Royal Enfield nice I don't know whether you nodded at me I'm too focused on the phone now <laughs> So I started this channel by recording my audio using Cardo Spirit because I was borrowing my dad's one. He was bikeless and he had a Cardo and I was like, oh, I'll use that if you, if you don't mind. And voice recording is not a feature on Cardo Spirit if you go through the Cardo app. However, if you have a Samsung, as far as I'm aware, it's only on Samsung or maybe just Android, but we couldn't figure it out on Katie's iPhone. I have a Samsung and in my, my God, this road in my voice recording app, just the general phone one, not a, not in the Cardo app. If you change the settings to use a Bluetooth speaker when available, you are able to record your audio through your Cardo, regardless of which one it is, as long as you have a mic. I've found that the mics that are the sticky ones that go in the full face helmets are better quality than the mics that go in the, the um, modular helmets. So if you compare the audio from my first video, which was filmed with that modular helmet mic. So I'm testing out this helmet mount and we'll see how it goes. Because the sticky one I had is broken. Um, the audio isn't as good as the next video where I had a sticky mic. So if you have a modular helmet, you can still record the audio, but the mic that they have isn't as good, I don't find, as the full face helmet one. However, 
We then invested in Cardo Pack Talk, which is what we use now, and that's what we use to record our intercom. So, essentially, we can link our Cardos and we can be on intercom as normal. Fuck, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> 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 so we're a bit wide there, trying to avoid that all of those. wide, that one. And within the app now, on any of the Pack Talks, I think it's, we have Pack Talk Neo. It's also available on Pack Talk Bold and Pack Talk Edge, as far as I'm aware. I'm not sponsored, by the way. Cardo, can you please sponsor me? Because <laughs> I've given you enough promotion. <laughs> yeah, so we now have Pack Talk Neo. And that enables us to record our intercom whilst we're riding within the Cardo app. And then I just email myself that, that file, which isn't huge. It saves the whole intercom as one file. So regardless of how many riders, I'm assuming, I've only tried it with two, but I would, I would assume it's the same. I don't see how it could be any, could be any different. Regardless of the number of riders you have, it will save it all as one uh, audio file, which is, it has its pros and cons, so it means that you, it's obviously easier to edit, but at the same time, you can't edit people's voices individually. Although, I think Cardo do a good enough job when you're starting out that you don't really need to edit each other's voices individually because you've got a decent it's got decent background removal, it's got decent, it sort of regulates the volume automatically in your audio settings. So it does a lot, a lot of it for you. We have been playing around with our audio settings a bit because the background cancellation is almost too good. It removes all engine noise and all wind noise. Means that I actually, in editing, I add some of the GoPro's mic back in because otherwise the video would be silent whenever we're not talking which is very, very weird. I feel like you kind of want a bit of engine noise and a bit of wind noise, otherwise it sounds really weird. So we've adjusted our background settings. Um, I think it's at 70% for me, as in like the amount of audio mixing it has. And that's helped a little bit because it sometimes gets to the point where it tries to cancel out so much wind noise and so much engine noise that it starts cutting up your words a bit too soon or a bit too early. Um, so you miss the beginning or the end of your sentence. This is especially true for Katie's bike because her exhaust is loud um, and it, it can be quite difficult for that cardo to sort of separate the voice and the exhaust. So I've tried to sort of add a bit more of it back in. The reason why we're using cardos is because obviously we already had them, we needed them anyway. So it saves buying mics as well as the cardos straight away. Um, but whilst we only have one camera and whilst I only have a GoPro Max, I can't plug an external mic into a camera, so I need to sort of audio sync everything in editing. So it just makes it easy when it's just one audio stream and one camera. But obviously, as we, I'd love to like have a helmet cam with a plug-in for a mic, and then have my GoPro here, which is where I usually put it for my 360 videos. So you get multiple views, and I don't have to sync my audio. Um, and the audio will be a bit clearer because I've got a mic designed for what I want to use it for. Hello, biker. Um, so those are basically the two pieces I'm using. I'm using a GoPro and a Cardo, and I'm uh, sort of syncing them together in editing. I use Adobe Premiere Pro, mainly because I already had Creative Cloud. I need it for work, so I just had access to it anyway. Um, Although I did start, I do also have, um, ages ago, ages like years ago, I bought a lifetime thing for a uh, Wondershare Filmora, which is like a more budget editing software. Um, I don't know what the price was now, but it wasn't much when I bought, bought it, but they have been, well, like everything, the, the prices have been rising, so I, I don't know what the price is now. Um, and that's decent if you just need to sort of like chop up your video and sync stuff, that's fine. What I will do is I'm going to link Fusion's video about his his vlogging set up down below because he knows more about cameras than I do and he's also talked about Premiere Pro and the editing that you can use um, so check that out because I'm definitely not an expert on that <laughs> I just do the bare minimum and what my laptop will let me it, my laptop um, doesn't like editing audio very much which is why sometimes especially when it's like this when it's a bit windy the audio probably isn't the best right now uh, because yeah, uh, just if I want if I want to edit a video in in one day, <laughs> my laptop does not like it adding audio into the mix. So it's just like no, just let me let me do what I need to do. I suppose uh, a newer investment that I got, I did have like a cheap five pound helmet cam man mount for helmet um, from Amazon that just sort of straps over the chin bar, 
whereas now I'm using chin mounts, which is like actually stuck onto the helmet. Um, and it's a lot more seamless. For one, I don't need to keep taking the helmet mount on and off my helmet. And two, there's no straps from the mount that then get in my way. So definitely recommend if you're wanting to mount your, your camera on your helmet, go and see chin mounts because uh, that website has basically every helmet possible, and I think they take requests. I'm not too sure, but yeah, any of the any of the mainstream helmets will definitely be on there. So I hope that helped. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, I hate this part of the road. Oh yeah, let's just highlight the potholes in yellow instead of actually fixing them. It's a wonderful idea. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And why not go and watch some of our other videos because we're so close to getting those watch hours for monetization is absolutely mental yeah thanks very much for watching i'll see you in the next one goodbye